Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today I want to show you a little bit about how to mix your project such that you can turn it in to a teacher somewhere or share it with a friend or share it out into the public. Um, Soundtrap files aren't shareable per se. I know you can have a collaborator, but um, sometimes you want to send that project file to someone to listen to on their phone or some other device. So I want to show you today. Uh, here's a what we're going to call a completed project in my studio screen, which is the main login screen of uh, Soundtrap, or I should say the projects screen where you see my projects. Um, and you'll have your project listed there. If you come over here and click on it so that it highlights, um, you have a few options. One of those is to download. And when you download the file, it automatically goes here as an MP3. And now you have an MP3 that's shareable. There are a few more options that you have though. If you come over here to the three dots and you scroll down on the three dots, um, then one of those is to download where you can download as an MP3 or as an OGG, which is Spotify's native file format, or as a WAV file. So if you want a higher quality WAV file, then you need to make sure you click these three dots and come down to download there. The other option is if you are in the studio mode, then you can come in here to File, Export, and here, again, you have the choices to export as an MP3 or a WAV file. Or if you want to take the MIDI file to another project, like, say, in Logic or Ableton or something like that, you can export the MIDI files. Or if you want to go to NoteFlight, if you're a member of NoteFlight, the option is there. So those are three ways that you can export your uh, Soundtrap file. Now, I will say... If uh, Soundtrap is mixing and mastering your file, which you'll see either um, it says mixing up here, or it might not have the squiggly lines like this, it might say mixing, then you have to wait till it says it, then it's finished mixing before you can do the download because it's doing the mixing and mastering process so that you have a nice um, recording. So those are the ways that you can go about downloading your file from Soundtrap as an MP3. I hope this helps.